Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, last year, I was here, and then the uh, other global uh, uh, leader, and they probably identified the pharmacogenomics as a flagship of the meeting. If you would like to, and today I will focus on implementation rather than uh, talking about the research and how the best I have the pharmacogenic testing in our hand. Because without proper implementation, you're going to cause a lot of nightmare when you deal with the Stephen Johnson syndrome. And, and I'm going to tell you, the implementation of genomic in clinical practice, the low hanging fruit would be pharmacogenomic. And the pharmacogenomics, if you're talking about the Stephen Johnson and 10 risk area screening test, uh, might be the low hanging fruit in pharmacogenomics. In Thailand, we interview many who suffer and survive Stephen Johnson syndrome and 10. They say that they like a burning alive, their eye like a someone pour acid into their eyes. The pain is so, so uh, extreme, they would like to die, but they cannot because the doctor won't let them go. Okay, in Thailand, pharmacogenomic project started in 2004 with the HIV pharmacogenomics. The first drug is nevirapine induced Stephen Johnson and 10 uh, with the Rama Tibidi Hospital, Thailand Center of Excellence for Life Science, and Ministry of Science and Technology. However, with regard to Thai government reimbursement program for routine uh, pharmacogenic screening to prevent drug-induced Stephen Johnson and 10, Kamamisipine was the first drug of choice to implement nationwide 2014, which is uh, 10 years later under the Ministry of Public Health, Thai FDA University Hospital, Thai Universal Healthcare Coverage Program. So in Thailand, who pay for PGX screening? The government. So the, uh, during the last 10 years, uh, with a collaboration firmly with the Rama Tibidi Hospital, where I'm working, the Faculty of Pharmacy, Mahidon University, Thai Ministry of Public Health, uh, Thai, which includes Thai FDA, uh, Thailand Center of Excellence for Life Science, partnering with the uh, RICAN, the Center for Genomic Medicine, uh, from the uh, uh, formal, the director, Yasuke Nakamura, and present, the director, Dr. Nikai Kubo, have helping us a lot to do what we call the Genome Wide Association and HIV genotyping. There are more than 3,000 cases in control. So that's why we realize that the, uh, in Thailand and in Southeast Asia, we have a very high frequency of ADR-related gene or areoles. And uh, you can see the Kabama spin always located in Asia or in Southeast Asia. Aloporino, more or less the same. Kabama spin, uh, that, that great that maybe Europe take care of it, and then for the new rubin is the uh, anti-retroviral drug again in Southeast Asia. D40, this is also the anti-retroviral drug in Asia too. So the, because of uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, drugs that the, uh, have a, uh, this is a top 10 drug in Duke, Stephen Johnson, and 10 in Thailand. And uh, with the, uh, during the past 10 years, we, uh, probably can say that our scientists and in many hospitals and institutions could uh, work out to get a genetic marker that have been found utilized for predictive tools. So this is a, uh, I, I'd like to show the intern aid we come up with the prototype of a molecular point of care for uh, pharmacogenomic screening assay for nevirapine uh, rash. You can see that uh, we not only focus on HLA, because you know why association help us to find the two other causative SNPs. So uh, maybe when you uh, might uh, wonder why the uh, HLA is not so accurate, because there are other SNPs that would help to complete nearly 100%. 
And if for the HIV, I'd rather say that it's quite typical. The target is moving. I spend, uh, we, our team spend too much time to find the market and they try to implement it, implement it the, in, with the government. It turned out that within a five year Thailand, at first, the European base and territory have now been chained to effervorants. So the target is keep moving. So if you would like to do research and try to implement it, you have to make it fast. That's why the, uh, now for the uh, HIV, instead of uh, focus on neighboring, we have to focus also other, like a uh, favorance D40, and also a bacteria. It is all in one. That's why they, we uh, have the uh, uh, award, the Thailand Award, uh, in Innovation Award in 2011 for what we call the service and the uh, uh, diagnosis or, or the assay, HIV, ADR, all in one. And in 2010, beside the HIV, there is a brainstorming to pharmacogenomic and its use to avoid CV adverse drug reaction, cutaneous drug reaction. This, this time organized by Department of Medical Science, Ministry of Public Health, 2010, three of these people now in this room. And also at that time we invited Professor Chen from Taiwan to be our keynote speaker at that time. And four years later, the government speed induced Stephen Chen Sanantin was the first drug of choice for the government reimbursement nationwide. Uh, under the Ministry of Public Health, Thai FDA, U University Hospital, and Universal Healthcare Coverage Scheme. Let's go back to where I'm working, the Rama Activity Hospital. We managed to have the, uh, what you call the uh, uh, pharmacogenomic uh, lab. And this is uh, my colleague, Dr. Chalapas Sukhasem, who uh, invented PGA card, pre and post pharmacogenomic counseling program, warning and monitoring system. Uh, and this is a list of the uh, uh, pharmacogenomic uh, assay routinely uh, support the hospital. Every time that the, uh, uh, the, the patient have the uh, 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 HIA positive or many other gene positive, the, there is a sign of adverse drug reaction has been clearly shown in the prescription. This is uh, the folder that we always hand it to the person who have the blood tested. And it's a report and it's a pharmacogenomic card that the uh, uh, Terry mentioned earlier. At first, we uh, during last year, we I hesitated to show you the uh, the, the the card because the uh, my colleague said that this is just simply the paper why you why people will fascinate about and the uh, in U.S. the EMR is quite effective, but it turned out to be I don't know why they, they still like it. <laughs> okay, but all this all foolproof way that we could prevent and eradicate the genetically mediated Stephen Jones 10 as in Thailand. Uh, from the time being right now, sadly said no. We'll not be able to save our life if we do not implement it completely. Usually, if you have a pre uh, PGA counseling, fine. The doctor will order her blood tested. She was tested positive then the, the post PGA counseling should be in place and then advise her to take other drug instead, okay? And the PGA card should be provided. But the nightmare always happened and occurred to me that if it no pre-counseling, to have the blood test for positive, because the PGA screening assay is just 33 US dollar in Thailand, it's easily to implement rather than warning system. So, uh, for the second doctor, she, she, uh, she may in charge the woman from the ward, prescribing her with the carbamine spin because there's no post counseling, no warning system, no PGA card provided. And she will go back home and then take the medication, no monitoring following. And she may die because of the, the unit within a few days later on. Okay? So what we are currently doing at Brahma TV Hospital to make sure that 
the PGH should be effectively and safely imposed or implement, sorry. One, we try to combine because we have the EMR but not quite effective. Uh, link all the unit, pre and post uh, uh, pharmacology counseling and also PGX screening assay. And we try to emphasize to the patient and the doctor that the PGX is the screening assay. It is not diagnostic test. So it's not that accurate when you compare, okay? And then after that, after they leave the hospital, they have the post monitoring for the patient. This is the manually call uh, to the, uh, after the chart, making four telephone call every two weeks in two months. We have a PJ gas and also in order to educate pa patient, public, and clinician, we come up with the MP games on Android and iOS device. I just heard that Terry mentioned about in the morning that we would like to educate the uh, uh, clinician. Uh, I think that I, I cannot wait for five years from now. I like to make it now today. That's why the, I have the MP games. MP game is what it is. MP game is the uh, 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 what do you call mobile uh, pharmacogenomics game. Uh, in last month, there is a university in the race of university and Ministry of Information and Communication Technology approached me, asked me to help to make the, the uh, education to the children. I said that ah, maybe Lord Buddha or God answered my question. So I, from my work. I just transform, we transform all my work to be on this uh, application. And this is a genom genomic medicine, particularly in pharmacogenomics. When you click, you can uh, let them study. That is pre and post uh, 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 test. And then the game three would be uh, make sure that you will not miss the uh, Stephen Johnson anymore. Okay, I will let uh, the uh, Terry to test that first when we have the uh, English version. So for the uh, Southeast Asian, we have the uh, Pharmacogenomic Research Network, CFARM, uh, uh, 2012, uh, 2013 was held in Thailand, 2014 held in Indonesia, 2015 will be held in Malaysia next week. Okay, and Dr. Uh, Professor uh, uh, Kaolin would be uh, share with you about the, 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 the workshop. And this uh, reading material, if you would like to uh, study our work in 10 years, uh, uh, starting from uh, Nature Review Genetics, the book called Genomic and Health in Developing World, and HIV Pharmacogenomic, and also rooted and moving that you can read online, free of charge. Thank you. Thank you very much. So education and implementation with the, with the emphasis here. Are there questions or comments? Yes. I was wondering, you were showing one little baby um, with, affected with a disease. Um, and I was wondering if you observed that women uh, who during pregnancy receive never a pain, uh, have healthy children, yes or not. From our South African colleagues, I know that all the ladies they had that during pregnancy were given never a pain because of HIV infection, who developed SJSTN, um, had healthy children, and that none of the children, even though these babies received the same drug uh, for six months after birth, ever had SJS or TN which you could expect or could think it might happen. Do you have any ideas on that? Um, I do not have any idea. And then the, uh, the picture that I show you, uh, all the, that is the uh, NIPT, not the pharmacogenomic, sorry. Uh, Dr. Surakamed, do you have any idea? We, we never do any uh, pharmacogenomic on the pregnant woman at all. We, we did some uh, pharmacokinetic uh, pharmacogenetic study on the European level in pregnancy women and uh, SIPs, I can't remember, but one of the SIP has uh, influence on the drug level of neuropine in pregnancy women. 
but we didn't see that uh, Stephen tends in the children related to the mother. I, I, I think we don't have the data. Has anyone seen, just to, just to burden your question, has anyone seen uh, uh, in, in late pregnancy, uh, Stephen Johnson, where the baby is delivered with or without uh, Stephen Johnson? If it's transmitted with granulysin, uh, one would expect something there. Of course, there may be other genes in the, in the child. If it's uh, T-cell mediated, then you would expect the fetus to be protected because they would be tolerized to the antigens. The, the reason I raised yeah, the question is because of Dr. Chung, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, obviously, no answer to that. Uh, but that did, but the, did you have a, a question? Uh, no. But, uh, uh, but what, what we observe is that the age will be 15, oh no, 35 or 5, which is the recent value for neuropene induced rash, is a protective risk for uh, HIV viral load in Thai populations. So the, the same alleles that cause rash from neuropene is actually protect from this disease progressions in HIV infection. So this might explain some things. So I'd like to thank all the uh, qu question. Yes. Sorry, I was just going to ask along those lines. Did you have was that your neverapine dress cohort, and were those the th B thirty five O fives that were protected, or Sorry? just from the previous work that's been published? I think from Thailand with neverapine dress and B thirty five O five, the ones that had protected viral loads. Those were the B thirty five O fives, the ones that carried HLA B thirty five O five, or uh, uh, that the protective uh, effect of the 3505 is not a uh, study in our data set, but it was studied in another data set in northern Thailand. And, and in that cohort, they observed both the drug adverse reaction and the uh, protective effect of the B50, B3505 on HIV disease progressions. So it's like a replication cohort of our data. Thank you. Uh, thank everyone. And uh, Terry has uh, a few announcements. Yeah, just, just to remind you, we're, we're now going to break. Those of you who ordered your lunch in advance, it, it's in room nine there. So if you would just grab it and bring it back in here where we're going to have a discussion. Those of you who are going to make the trek down to the cafeteria, you need to take the elevator uh, to do that. Mark Williams has volunteered to lead you uh, effectively and quickly down there and back up. Uh, we will reconvene at one, uh, one o'clock for a discussion. And we'll see you then.